Now, welcome back to the Career Build Series. This is episode 86, and the last episode took uh, the Katie did over to the military base, uh, put out some fires with a Bambi bucket, did some rescue of uh, some of the personnel there. Um, before that, I had worked on um, trying some other missions, and I ended up not um, being successful, so those didn't make it in. So there was a, um, a barge rescue here that was pretty cool that I went and tested the Katie did on, and so... One issue I was having was, um, so I essentially need station keeping, and what that is is you should be able to put a waypoint and have the vehicle stay around the waypoint. And so I can do that presently using the um, bearing 2 system where it always wants to go to the bearing, but the element that I need to add is throttle. So what happened when I was testing was, came over here to the barge, and then the... Um, you know, the Katie did essentially had it circling the barge, which wasn't bad. And then for some reason, I said, you know what, I'm going to put in a, a heading to hold. Well, the wind started pushing it, and it drifted, and it ended up hitting the cliff. So what I'm going to do with station keeping is the bearing 2 system will essentially keep me pointed always at the waypoint. So it might rotate around the waypoint. But what I want to do is I want to integrate the prop pitch in there so that what will happen is the... Um, the craft will essentially, if it gets, um, say, I don't know, 10 meters away from the waypoint, it will add prop in to get closer to the waypoint. If it goes past it, it will go in reverse, things like that. So should be able to integrate both the bearing um, 2 system and a little bit of a throttle system to try to have it hold a waypoint. So let's start working on that. So let me uh, open up the re most recent one. This should be it here. Now let me save it um, to a new save. All right, so this is station keeping. So it wants to keep the station that you put in there. So um, currently, let's look at the autopilot. All right, so let's go in here. It's called heading hold. I should change this to. Let me change this to autopilot. All right, autopilot. All right, so essentially we have our um, our bearing two system here, and so let me find that. So that's desired heading. Let me see where the desired bearing is right here. So this is desired bearing right here. All right, so um, what I want to do is that system's fine. I want to put in the bearing, and then I need to control my throttle a little bit. So let's uh, integrate that in there. So what I need to know is the distance to the um, the point. So what we can do is now move over to my bearing panel, which has moved. So I need to find that. There's bearing panel right there. OK. And so bearing panel, I believe, also does my throttle. Let me, ch uh, no, it does not. Okay, so if we look at the bearing panel here, we, uh, at some point, we get the um, distance here. And then that reports. So let's find out where that reports to. So it's one of these. So let me just really quickly and easily, let's uh, go in here and let's find where the distance is. So that's, 80, that's the ADF, that's nautical miles to waypoints, so that's channel 5. Alright, so let's look for channel 5 here. So right, um, let's see, where is it? That's 2, 3, 4, let's find out where channel 5 is. Alright, it's taking me a minute to find it. All right, so this starts at channel 4, so this is 4, this is 5 right here. Okay, so 4 and then 5. So 5 is right here. That's taking the distance, and it's um, multiplying it out. All right, so this is distance right here is channel 5. 4 and 5. All right, so that goes 5. That goes to panel. All right, so we'll look at a panel. All right, so let's look here. So the panel goes in here. All 
right, so panel goes to this panel here, which then this one talks to this one, then this one, this one here talks to, what's that talking to? The autopilot, which is good. And then this one here, so that talks to that, that talks back to the bearing panel. Okay, so need to integrate this into the throttle here. So let's look. <coughs> and we have nodes. Thankfully, we have nodes. Okay. All right, so what we want to look at here is, so I essentially want to find where my prop pitch is. All right, here's prop pitch. So essentially what I want to do is I want to automate my prop pitch so that when the station keeping system is turned on, it's going to automatically add or reduce prop to, um, it's going to add or reduce prop to make sure that it um, stays where we want it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start by adding some ores. All right, and so this one here goes to there, so that's going to now go here, and then that's going to go there, and then this one here will go like that. All right, so there we go. We have, um, we've added a couple ores here, so now that I can command this with um, something else as well. All right, good. So let's go back to design. Um, let's see. All right, so these are called panel. Let me, uh, All right, so this should be here. Um, I want composite input from bearing from AP panel. Okay, let's update that. So essentially what I want to do here is I want to take, so my bearing panel goes in a loop here from the autopilot panel. Well, I can then take this uh, from the autopilot panel here and I can send it to my engine panel here from autopilot panel. So, oh, didn't mean to do undo. Okay, so here we have autopilot is AP master. And then I want to put uh, station hold on there. All right, station hold, that will be a, a button, a toggle button. That will be 10. All right, so what we're going to do here is going to go here. And let me see, I might, instead of an OR, I think I'm going to add a numerical switch box. That way, it will take command of the system. Uh, maybe I don't. Let me do... Uh, let me see. I think I'll just do it with an OR. Um, Yeah, this way I can overpower it. I'm going to need to go, let me see. All right, so let me check this out here. Um, let's find where I put that panel. I'm just kind of thinking through the system in my head. How I want it to run. So I need to find that node that I just made, which is right here. All right, so it was 10. So the first thing I'll do is read 10. Okay, so here's 10. And then we're going to read 5. I'm going to read the number 5. All right, so that's going to read out the distance. All right, so let me just do, let's say 10 meters. All right, so I'm going to put it in there as well. I'm going to do that. Delete that. Okay. All right, so we're getting set up here. So uh, this is telling me if I put the button on. So if the button for the station holding is on, uh, the station keeping is on, and the distance is... Uh, greater than, so that's presently in nautical miles. So let me see. 
trying to think of the best way to do this. Um, uh, let me look at this. I'm just going to search. Uh, let me look at how many feet in a nautical mile. Okay, why is that doing that? Let's do a nanometer. All right, so there is uh, 6,076 feet. So I'm going to keep it, let's say, within, oh, I don't know. So 10% would be 600 feet. Uh, let me see. So 6076. I'm just coming up with kind of a formula to make this work for me. All right, that's 60 feet's too much. All right, so I want to keep it within, I would say, um, maybe 0 0.003, that would be 18 feet. Point, yeah, point zero zero three. All right, so if that's greater than this x times um, 0 0.003, so if the distance is greater than 18 feet, okay, let me think about this really quick. Okay, if this distance is greater than that, I want to increase my prop. Okay, so if this distance is greater than 18 feet and, actually that's not going to work. Um, so what's that reading out? Nautical miles. That reads nautical miles. Um, so it'll be 0 0.003 nautical miles. Yeah, 0 0.003 nautical miles. That should work. Yeah, if this is greater than, if the distance is greater than um, that, and the button is on, increase the prop. And then this one be less than. That would be less than. I don't know why I copied it. Okay, and we'll do the same over here. All right, so essentially what this is going to do is this is going to either add proper or uh, decrease prop when that button's on so that uh, it either brings us closer or farther away from the station. Let me see. All right, so let me do this really quick. I want to read this out and make sure that um, I'm getting parity on the numbers. So I'm just going to read out, uh, do a number output, nautical miles. And then where is that bringing the new ones in here? New one is here? Yep, new one's here. And then I just want to read this out here. Um, we'll take a dial. So I know it's convoluted. My mind's kind of not working all that well right this second uh, at explaining things, but I'm going to show you. So this will be a little bit easier once I kind of visual visually show you. So let's take this. Where are you at there? Where are you at that guy? Nautical miles. There it is. Okay, so that is connected. 
That should be all set. Okay, let me get in here and let's see if this is running right. All right, so it should be the left one here. So let's put in a waypoint here. Um, no, I don't want to fast travel anywhere. Please stop that. Okay, so right here, I don't know what that is. That's a short distance. Okay, so 0.18, this should be reading 0.18. Okay, they read the same number. We're in business here. Okay, so let's just fire up and let's test this. All right, so this is our, our node right here. That's where I want to station keep on, okay? Shut my door. Let me throttle up. Go ahead and put on the um, autopilot master here. And let's climb out of here. All right, so that's where my point is right there. And so let's uh, let's put on station keeping here in a second. Let me just get outside. Okay, let me put on altitude hold. Let's do 250. I just don't want to hit anything. Okay, let's uh, aim our bearing at the thing. So we'll, we'll have to turn on our bearing hold system, and that will point to the point, which, as you can see, it's doing. We're 289 meters away right now. Now we're climbing up to 250 feet. I should be able to click this on. It should automatically increase the prop pitch um, to bring me right to that spot. And then when it gets to the spot, it should hold me there. Okay, see it's increasing the prop. Now it's probably going to overshoot. Okay, why does it keep increasing the prop? Oh, okay, I get why it's doing it. Alright. So let me have it turn there. I'm just going to manually, I'm just going to zero the prop pitch here. Have it turn itself there. I don't know what it's doing. What you doing there, guy? Okay. Well, that's acting foolish. Alright, so I think I have a better way to do that anyways. I don't want it, um... Let me see. Hmm. So what it did was once it got too far away from the point, it just kept throwing in, um, kept throwing in, in, uh, in more pitch. I don't want that. Let me change it. Um, I actually don't want it doing that much. I don't think I want it to do this. Um, I don't want it to decrease the prop. I want it to zero the prop. So let's go this one here instead of that. Let's put that back where it goes. All right, let's go like this. I should have kept a less, but I didn't. Um, okay, let's try less again. Okay. All right, so if the distance here is less than that, I want to zero it. I want it to idle. So let's try that. And then I can delete this 0.18. That I know this is working. It was reading the same value. All right, so let's try the station keeping again. So essentially what I want to do is I want to be able to hover it over a point and have it just pretty much stay there. You know, there are a lot more elegant ways to do this, but I don't want to do that. I want to do it this way. You know, you could have a pitch forward, back, left, right. That was a thought, but I'd rather kind of just do it with the prop. You know, you could have it just, the helicopter just pitch forward, back, forward, back, but I um, don't really want to do that. Um, let's go 200 feet. Uh, let's make sure I put in this point here. All right, so we're 0.15 away. Let's have have a point at the point. It's doing it. Okay, let's uh, let's have a station keep here. So you see, it's adding in prop pitch. Now it should zero it when it gets close. I 
That's going to zero it here in a second. Nope, it's going to go right by because it never got close enough because it's on the ground. Alright, that's understandable. Okay. Alright. Okay, so this is fight me. This is what rolled me last time was I was fighting the controls. It was trying to... Uh, What is it doing that it's it's kind of like fighting me? I gotta figure that out. Why are you fighting me so much? Oh, it's the uh, it's the altitude hold fighting me is all it is. Okay. Okay. Why can't I zero the prop? Zero prop pitch is not working. Zero prop pitch is not working. Why is that not working? All right, what is this? That should be four. What is four here? Um, I hooked the wrong thing up. That's why. I hooked the wrong thing up. That'd be why. Okay, it's not supposed to be four here. Um. 31 is what that's supposed to be. So see, it's doing two things here. That's why. Okay, that's fine. So I, I screwed up and I just hooked the wrong thing up because I wasn't, wasn't paying attention to it. All right, that's better. I had these all covered up so I couldn't see what I was doing here. So that's better there. Um, all right, so that's better. Um, I had the wrong thing hooked up. All right, so this should idle when it gets there. A little weird instability I didn't think I had before, but uh, I do now. All right, I'll, the uh, gyro's coming on, AP Master's on. So let's put in 200 here. Uh, let's take our bearing, put our bearing in. Okay, let's uh, snap to the bearing. All right, let's go ahead and station keep. It's going to start adding prop, as you can see. So that should zero it now when it gets close. See, it's never going to get close, I think, because of the altitude. Hmm. Okay, I should be able to do that with a quick formula. So what I should be able to do is add the altitude to that number. Let me quickly read my formula and make sure that's coming out all right. Um. So let me look here. Um, so I was reading that. If you remember, I read the 0.18, made sure that works. Let me read this formula here. Make sure that's coming out all right. Because if that's wrong, that's going to cause me problems. All right, nautical miles. There's nautical miles. Bearing two. Where is nautical miles here? I thought it was high in the panel, and now I can't find it. There it is. Nope, it isn't. Uh, where the heck is it? There it is. Nautical miles right there. Okay, so I'm going to read my formula output here. So it should be 0 0.003 of whatever the nautical miles is, which I don't think that might not work. All right, so currently, what the heck is this? All right. All right, see, I'm converting it to nautical miles. Let me run it off of meters here because that would be more useful. So right here, um, where are we? 
That should be in the bearing panel. All right, so here we get the distance. Okay, what is this expression that I'm doing here? Just trying to figure out, this is distance in nautical miles, that's distance, I assume in meters. Let me make a number here that I can send across. So what's the highest number on my panel here? Eight. I think this is actually probably the highest number here. Twelve. So thirteen. Let's make it thirteen. And that connects to there. That connects to panel. What has a free node right here? So I'm going to write a number, start at 13, and then I want this distance in meters. I want the distance in meters, all right, and then 13 here is going to just, trying to make this not messy, but it's going to be messy, I think. Um, it goes right there, that's fine, okay, good. So that's going to read out um, distance in meters. Then I want to go down here, the station keeping here, wherever I just put it. This is not, is it? There, it is it. Um, then that's going to be reading our meters here. All right, so if the distance um, to the waypoint in meters is greater than Say 10 meters. 10 meters, okay. Um, let's read this. I want to make sure that's in meters. So see how many meters. That should read us the same as what that reads there. So 327, 327, perfect. So that's reading how many meters we are. So now that's better. That's a better formula anyway. All right, so if the distance in meters is greater than 10 meters, we want to increase prop pitch. Ideally, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to have that take me to the station. I'm going to turn that station on. Um, so what I'm going to do... I'll do it manually first, then I'll put in a condition for it. So I want to hold us at 10 meters. Let me, uh, then I need to take into account the altitude. Well, it's alternated. Do I have altitude? Do I have altimeter here somewhere? I should have it for the, um, altimeter should be here because I have my altitude hold. So what I want to do is I want to add the altitude because it's, I assume it's not accounting for the distance from the ground. Let me check that. All right, let's try this. Um, so when we hover over this, if it's telling us the distance um, from the waypoint, we need to add the altitude. I'll show you. I'm, I'm not speaking very clearly, but um, essentially when we're flying over this point, if it's still telling us that we're, you know, whatever uh, 200 feet is, you know, you know what? you know, whatever 200 feet is that, um, you know, we're still a certain amount off. We're going to have to, we're going to have to, uh, incorporate the altitude. All right, so let's get out there. Again, we'll keep our, we'll keep doing 200 feet. That just gets us, um, consistent results. Oh, I forgot to put it in, apparently. Let's go on to the standard waypoint there. Alright, so let's get let this get up to 200 feet. Ok, 
Okay, so now it's 293, 288. Alright, so let's, I'm gonna manually go over there. I'm just gonna manually put it in here. Where's my prop pitch? Three? Three. I'm gonna manually put in prop pitch here. Let's see how we're doing here. Okay, so presently we are 0.1 away. We are 27 meters away. Let me get right on top of this. I want to get as close to on top of this as I can get. So it looks like it's still reading the altitude, which is fine. So what I'll do is put an altitude addition in there, so it's going to add the altitude to it. So right there, it's still showing us we're 12 meters away. Um, let's see what my altitude's there. So I don't know if it's showing only 12 meters. I don't know how that's working. Let me turn on the station keep and see if it works. See, I don't see. It's going to keep adding prop and go faster and faster. This system's not going to work. All right, so that's not going to work. Um for a number of reasons. It's one thing is it's just too slow. It's it's not going to be um it's not going to be quick enough. So I think that's a dud already. Um when I, so let me get rid of all this crapola. Yeah, let me get rid of all this crap here. Um yeah, this is going to be a dud right off the bat, I think. Okay, that's going to be a dud. So I know that's going to be a dud right off the bat. So what I should be doing is I should be utilizing pitch to do this. That would be more um, that would be more akin to how you'd really want to do it. You want to pitch for back to control it. Um, it it works. Our this it actually doesn't work too bad um, the way it currently is. I have to manually put something in there. Um, I should be able to do it with pitch. So let me look. Um, so I have a pitch here. Let me see where my pitch is. Not, it's not in here. It's in the autopilot. Where is autopilot? It's over here. Oh my God! Can't remember how to do my controls. There we go. Um, let's find the pitch here. So here's pitch. Um, that's pitch, fin, this is pitch here. So let's get to pitch. Let's add it here. Um, we have plenty of space to add it. Okay, so this is all bearing stuff here. So that comes in, that takes in information from the bearing micro. Okay, so that's good. So we have a bunch of stuff we already need here for station keeping. All right, so let's go, um, where's bearing micro? Bearing micro. Okay, here we go. So let's read uh, 10. 10 is going to be the it's either 10 or 11. Let me look. I've already forgotten all my numbers here. Um, so we want to check out. It's 10. Station hold is button is going to be 10. Okay, I didn't save that as autopilot. Autopilot. Okay. So that's 10, so that's going to be our station hold on off. We want to read a number 13. Reading 13 is going to give us the distance in meters. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to do it by pitch now. So I think that's going to be a more responsive system anyways. The prop just takes too long, so. <coughs> that already has ads, that's fine. So let's add another PID. Okay, let's add another PID here. Right, 
I need to read altitude out as well. Um, altitude hold should be here. So where's altitude? Where is altitude? This should be altitude here. Yep, there's altimeter there. I'm just going to put it in an ad so that I can easily move it and have it come up where I want it. Okay, so altimeter is going to read here. <coughs> and I want it to, no, it's not going to read altimeter, but um, let me see. Where's 13? So it's going to be um, the distance from the, the waypoint, right, minus the altitude. Yep. Okay, did I just not click on subtract? I'm misbehaving today. All right, so the so the dis so the altitude. Um, all right, so the distance to the waypoint minus the altitude. So let's so let's say the distance to the waypoint is 200 meters, and we are um, 100 meters off the ground. All right, so. If um, it's going to take the distance, which is 200 meters. It's going to subtract 100 meters, which is the distance we're off the ground. And then that's going to actually tell us how far we are from the point. So all that it's doing is it, it, no matter where we are altitude-wise, by subtracting that off, it's going to figure that in. So if we're 10 feet over the waypoint, or if we're 1,000 feet over the waypoint, it's going to subtract that altitude so it's the same as though we were right there at it. Okay, so um, the distance there minus the altitude, okay, and we want zero, so that's the process variable. We want zero from the waypoint. <coughs> I'm going to clamp this, and let's say we want it uh, negative 0.02 to 0.02 and then I'm going to add another pitch on here. So what this is hopefully going to do is allow us to pitch um, forward and backwards to stay over that waypoint. And so this should be much more responsive than using the prop. You know I have a manual system that I'll, I'll revert to if I need to but hopefully I don't need to revert to it. And that will turn on if station keeping's on. So if station keeping's on, it's going to add that pitch. All right, so let's try this. Um, see if this works. So let's see if this works. Hopefully this works. Alright, so now instead of uh, it trying to add and reduce prop, which is just way too slow, there's too much lag time when it actually starts moving forwards, we should be able to do this with pitch. It should hopefully be quicker and more responsive. And I'm actually going to do this. Um, I'm going to move the waypoint right to the end of the runway just so I don't have to travel so far to have it operate here. All right, so now I put a small amount in there. I put in um, I put in a very tiny amount of pitch. So, like, let me see how much pitch I actually need. So, see, I need actually a reasonable amount of pitch. So, I probably put too little in there. So, I should put a I should put a wildly large no or not a wildly large number, but a larger number in there so that it. Um, actually does it. Okay, so it is pitching. So the whole point of this is I want this to be able to hang over that spot if, um, so that it just stays over the spot so that if I'm uh, trying to station keep, 
you know, if I'm trying to go up and down on my lines, that it's not wildly going away from the, the boat. Doing a reasonable job of holding it now. I need more. Uh, let me just go ahead and put more in there. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and let's make this, instead of point out one, let's do one. Let's, instead of this, let's just make it negative one, one. So let it do a full, full sweep if it needs to. Update that, we'll spawn it. All right, so I'm not going to do 200 feet. I know I'm changing a parameter, but we're not going 200 feet over the point anyways. We can do a maximum of 60 feet because of how long the, the wire is. So let's go to 45 feet. That's probably the most we'll do with the wire out there. Um, of actually, it's going up and down. All right, let's turn on station keeping. See how it's going backwards? Okay, so that's inverted. Okay, so that's fine. We need to invert the numbers. Good to know. All right, so it was leaning backwards to go forwards, which was just backwards. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to make an executive decision. That was insane. So I'm going to uh, do negative 0. 0.5 to, uh, Jesus, 5 would be br brutal, uh, 0. 0.5. So that was starting to look pretty good. Um, it was way too crazy. It was doing it too much pitch, but um, it was moving in the right direction. You know, that's sometimes why it's good to put in big numbers because you quickly see, okay, it's fine, it's just moving the wrong direction. So go ahead, go right ahead and change it backwards. Because if I put in a tiny little bit of pitch, you, you know, I might not have been able to perceive that it was trying to go away from the point the whole time, so. All right, so we'll go to 45 feet again because that's gonna be about as high as I wanna be with the cable length. Now let's put in the waypoint. Okay, let's station keep. Okay, so see it's leaning forwards, and I need to turn that on. So it's going to point to the point, and it should pitch to get to the point. And then once I get to the point, it should pitch backwards. See? Now it's a little bit crazy, right? It's going to overcorrect. Okay, see how it's overcorrecting? That's fine. altitude. Did I not put in 45 feet? Oh, it's it's uh it's not 45 feet above the ground. I need to do it above the ground. So it needs to be the distance sensor, not the altimeter. That's fine. All right, so see all it's doing is it's overcorrecting. That's because the p value is probably too high. So, okay, that's fine. All right, so what I also want to do is I want this to be the distance sensor. So let's go here. Uh, it should be distance over the ground. So instead of altimeter, um, do I have a distance sensor here? Linear speed, angular speed, desired altitude, altimeter, desired heading, compass, roll tilt, pitch tilt. So that's going to be an AGL above ground level. And where is that node? I think they start down here. Okay, good. So that's AGL instead. So I'm reading my altimeter there. I don't want to read my altimeter. I want to read my height above the ground. So that's AGL above ground level. Okay, so I'm going to read my distance above ground level. And then here I'm going to make a p-value, p-value, p-value. Okay, so now I can change the p-value on the fly. That's going to let me tune this pit in. All right, let me look here. Um,
Pick a keypad. That's the, I'm, I like having to double click on everything because I, my mind is not working right now. Uh, AGL. Nope, that's wrong. Ugh. Uh, where's p-value? Right here, p-value. Okay, AGL is going to be the distance sensor, so I think that's here. That's altimeter, that's distance sensor, so this should be distance sensor. AGL right there. All right, let me hook that up to electricity, that um, keypad. So I'm just going to, this will allow me to tune the p-value of my um, PID. So one was too much. You saw how it was over pitching. I should I shouldn't need to really cap that too much. The pitch should automatically take control. So I'm going to try 0 0.5. All right, I need to fix the yaw um, stabilizer a little bit too, but. I just, I'll probably do that off screen. All right, so let's go to 45 feet. All right, um, and then we want to enter in the waypoint. Let's go ahead and head to it, and let's put on station keeping. So this is going to bring us there via pitch, which is much quicker, much more responsive. It's always going to point at that waypoint, and it's going to pitch forward, back, forward, back. So there we go. All right, so see how it's much smoother? It's going to do this business here where it's always circling it. I think we could put in some sort of side movement as well, but um, let me decrease this a little bit. Um, Let me try putting in a heading instead. So let me just try a heading here um, on my heading hold. Okay, that's not going to work. All right, that was just a test. So this is going to orbit a little bit faster than I like. Um, okay, so see, it's not, it's not. Um, one was actually performing better because it was getting close, and then it was um, it's pitching back. I kind of wanted to add some, see it should be adding some roll too to stop us. And then it should be, so I need to incorporate roll. I'm just trying to remember how these numbers work so that I can make that work. So I can make this more elegant. I'm just, just kind of trying this out right now. Let me, let me gain some altitude here because my um, height above the ground, where is my, see right here, where is it? I'm trying to find my distance sensor here. I think that's it, 21. See, we're 44 feet um, above sea level and we're 22 feet above the ground. So let's uh, go to 70. All right, so now we're 45 feet above the ground level. Let's go to point 0.5. That's still too much. 0.25. So I don't mind if it rotates a little bit. Um, 
I just don't want to crash into the wall. Okay, still too much. Let's do 0.1. See, that's pretty good there. See, I don't mind it rotating. It just needs to get towards the point and stay there. Okay, so see how it's, it, I don't mind it rotating. Rotation is fine. It needs to stay close to the point, which it's doing. See, as it rotates around the point, it's slowly adding pitch so that we don't increase our distance from the point. Let's look at the point here. So you see that's point zero zero seven five. See how it's within like was that one, two, three, four, five, six decimal places? See how it's staying within six decimal places of that waypoint? That's beautiful. That's actually working really well. That's a good setting. Let me check that. That's point one. Okay, so now I, I also figured out a trick here. I uh, was was driving around last night at work and thinking about it. Okay, so I've been struggling to go up and down this hatch. I, uh, I didn't bring the friggin' thing. I didn't bring this. Um, that sucks. Uh, okay. But see how this is keeping us here? So the whole point of this is... So let's say we're doing a rescue mission, okay? If I put on station keeping... See how it's slowly and gently just rotating around the point? Um, what I had was I had a problem, and I'll go over it again, was there was a cool rescue, man. It was a barge here, right? And this is all canyon, so there's cliffs here and cliffs here, and it was right here. And so what I did was I flew in, and I put on the, uh, the bearing 2 panel, right? So it was always facing it. It was doing that rotation thing, but then we had wind, right, coming in. So what I did was I put a manual prop setting in, like, a very small prop, and it canceled out the wind. And so what was happening was it was it was doing this. It was rotating nicely. I said, you know what? I don't want it rotating anymore. I'm going to put in a heading hold. So I put in a heading hold, but I didn't have it facing the wind perfectly, so it drifted, and it ended up hitting the cliff. Well, what this system would do is say the boat's right here. It would rotate around the boat, and it would never drift away so that it would uh, hit the wall. You know, as it got further and further away, it would pitch more and more to get back. So that's working beautifully, as you can see. That's just beautifully, uh, you know, it, it's hovering around this waypoint here. And I wonder if it's increasing its distance. I don't think it is. I think it's staying close. You know, it's giving me a, a, a perimeter here. Let me see if I can actually make this, um, let me see if I can make this more accurate here. I don't want to fast travel anywhere. I want to grab my creation, please. Thank you. Okay, let me do this. Um, first thing, let's go in here. Okay, let's go back into the autopilot. So this is starting to work really well like I want. So let me, uh, point one was working fine. Let me do a, um, let me do a property number. That way if I need to tune it, it's easier to tune. So let me see. Um, station, keeping, uh, P value. Okay. So point, what was it, point one? Point one. Point one, right there. All right. P value, I'll get rid of that. Okay, good. Um, all right, so that's working really well. Um, I don't think I, I'll, cl I'll keep it clamped at that. I don't want it pitching too much and causing problems. So that's good. Um, okay, so here we go. Um, so right now, See, so above ground level, subtract that. Okay, that's fine. That's holding it close. That's actually pretty good. All right, so let's do this. Let's spawn it, and let's let's do a fake uh, test mission here. And I also, I uh, was, you know, I started to say before I realized that I didn't have my uh, rescue harness was. I figured out a way, if, uh, if you remember some of the earlier videos, I was getting stuck. I had to go up, down, up, down, up, down, trying to get through the hatch. So I thought of a new method, which I want to test out here, that might make that me not get stuck there. Just kind of pushing it backwards, trying to see if I can glitch it back, and that way, as you can see, it pops it up. Okay. Fast power. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and throttle up. Let me... Um, okay, let's get up there. So we have our point. All right, so that, that waypoint there, that's uh, simulated rescue. I'm going to rescue whatever's there. Okay. And so um, we're 10 feet AGL, so I want to go... Um, so I want to go 50 feet. Uh, let's go uh, 30 feet higher than I am here. So let's go. Uh, it's, I don't know. So let's go 60. Oh, I'm close to that wall there. Um, let me put in the waypoint. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on! Don't hit the rotors. I don't want to deal with this crap right now. I'm just manually steering it away. I think I have damage off. All right, turn on station keeping. As you can see, it's pitching me. Oh, it's auto pitching me. Should fix itself. It should. Should uh, see it's now. It's pitching out. All right. So take it a second. I think to stabilize, which is fine. What's my head above ground? Thirty-five feet. So let's go up another. Uh, let's go up another twenty feet. Yeah. Let's go up another twenty feet. Alright, so it rotates a little bit more. I li kind of I like it to do a little bit of uh, roll there, but um, that's something I'm gonna have to figure out at some point. See, like I manually got it stationed. Alright, so that's not a bad distance from the point. Uh, what are we? 54 feet off the ground. Okay, so this was the method that I was starting to talk about that I um, ended up having to break. So before I was I was jumping in the harness and then I was trying to go down the hole. And once you get in the harness, you just kind of flop, so you can't really do anything. So watch this. If I put the winch down first, and I have it go through the hole, what I should be able to do here is keep... Uh, just kind of made it so it doesn't work. All right, let me put it down the hole. All right, so see I have it stopped now. Now what I should be able to do is jump in the harness. And now I'm through the hole. So that's my new methodology so that I'm not getting stuck all the time. All right, so now imagine the, uh, the waypoint right here on the ground is the rescue. Okay. So I'm going to go down. See, I can also speed up these winches, I think, now. It's going to automatically rotate around the point. Now, it's not ideal. I'd like it to sit more still, but I could more finely... Uh, refine this by adding in some roll. It's currently yawing and pitching instead of pitching and rolling, so I'll have to look at the uh, look at that, and maybe switch it, but, you know, this is going to work for us for now. Alright, so now I go down for my rescue. Alright, we're getting close to the ground. Okay, I'm going to get out of my harness. I'm going to swim over here. I'm going to pick up a person. I'm going to swim over here now. Right, you see, I can it's not moving that fast. Put one in. Put me in. All right. And I can go back up. So this is going to be station keeping. So this is a really nice thing to add here. Um, this really helps us to um, to do some rescue missions and stay on site. As you can see, it's going to it's going to maintain. It's going to make sure I don't fly into a cliff. I think this works a lot better than prop. The prop is just too slow. It's too slow to respond. And uh, once I get outside of that distance, it's not zero in it, so um, this works pretty well. Yeah, I really like this. This system's going to work well. All right, so we'll end it there. Um, hopefully, th with this system up and running, we can do some of those more complex missions where we have to stay on site longer. I think I had to rescue like eight people, and so I need to stay on site for a long time. And that new method I have of putting this through the hole first and then jumping in the harness, much better than me trying to go up and down, up and down, trying to get through the harness. All right, thanks for watching.